So I think we got an upset. If I told you that Time CEO of the Year was someone within the AI space, you would probably say, without a doubt, it's got to be the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang. And that's not the case. It happens to be the CEO, a distant relative of Jensen, Lisa Su. And I do believe she lives down here in Austin, Texas. So I guess a little pride for <laughs> where I live. And I, I think... At least in my view, this is a bit of an upset because if you think of the market leader who's revolutionizing the way we interact with technology, it is largely trained on NVIDIA GPUs. They are the high performance compute leaders by all accounts and measurements, whether it's performance or revenue, NVIDIA is in the lead. But for me personally, although I do have a 3090 Ti sitting in my machine learning rig behind me, AMD is the most interesting because when I think of the two players, the larger players within the market, you have your NVIDIA on one side and your AMD on the other. And to me, this is an Android versus Apple. NVIDIA is doing everything they can with their NVIDIA AI enterprise to put you within an ecosystem. And that is a great thing for a lot of people that don't want to spend too much time doing the maintenance, support, and hiring individuals to tinker with the system. On the other hand, you have a what is, I think, generally discussed as a more cost effective solution in AMD. And they are going toe to toe in a lot of things here. AMD's MI300X outperforms NVIDIA's H100 for LLM inference. I do think there's some caveats to this. The MI300 is probably better suited to go up against the H200s, but the MI300s here, the big thing to get out of this is that it is 100% capable of running inference workloads in the same vein as NVIDIA's H100s. Now, the big thing that is really driving NVIDIA is that it's built on CUDA not Rockham. AMD's got Rockham. And what this is, is the parallelized computing platform of which support and libraries are built on top of for the necessary parallelized computing of GPUs. And why is that important? Just because when you're doing all of the linear algebra, the matrix math and the background for something like a LLM, a chatbot plugging into ChatGPT, all of the calculations per token, which is either a word or a subword, is computed individually. And if you were to use what we many probably know are CPUs, that's serial computing. It would do one token at a time. With parallelized computing, it's doing multiple tokens all at once. That way you get that those tokens outputted or those words outputted as fast as possible. And all the libraries, are built mostly because of the long-term support on CUDA. Rockham is up and coming. It is gaining support, which I think makes it interesting alternative for a lot of individuals that really want to control much more of their infrastructure. Even he, see here, um, the ability to tweak and modify the platform at the source level is a significant advantage for companies looking to build custom solutions or optimize specific workloads. So that's what makes it interesting. And AMD's GPUs, again, are fully capable. You can see here Lisa Su discussing the MI300X. The MI325s are coming out, which is their next gen. And then I believe they said that they're going to be continually iterating and releasing on an annual basis just to keep up with the Joneses, the Joneses in this case being NVIDIA. Um, they still have their market. But, you know, let, let's go back here to why Lisa Su uh, just generally does what a CEO does is build a business here, which uh, based on Su's leadership, when she became CEO a decade ago, AMD stock was languishing around three dollars a share. I am a shareholder of AMD. I did not get it at three dollars a share. Would have loved to. Its share of the data center chip market had fallen so far that executives rounded down to zero. And the question on everybody's lips was how long can the, the company had left? And now what's interesting is that you've got Intel languishing, not AMD. AMD being the up and comer challenger to NVIDIA. And us as consumers, we absolutely want competition. You can be more biased, you can be team green, you can be team red here with AMD, but what's really keeping NVIDIA at bay and our pricing even though NVIDIA can go off, like even see here, without AMD, NVIDIA can double their prices. 
th- these projects, these are high margin products regardless. Uh, but with com- competition, we get further innovation, further differentiation, further benefits to the consumers in the form of those plus more advantageous pricing for ourselves. Um, their strategy, let's invest in an open ecosystem and then may the best chip win. That's what we're talking about here. So you don't necessarily have to go NVIDIA, all NVIDIA or all AMD, but kind of the general path that NVIDIA is going is more of that closed ecosystem. AMD keeps you open it up because then you also have these other competitors like Tranium and some other ones that are up and coming that perhaps could provide certain advantages on specific use cases and workloads within your data center. So that's why I, I think what Lisa Sue is doing in foraging and making investments to compete with NVIDIA is super interesting and having that differentiated path of more of the open source, the more open ecosystem. So. I don't generally put a lot of value in what Time Magazine decides is the CEO, athlete, person of the year, or whatnot, because I think it's a popularity contest at times. But in this case, it it really isn't. I think if it was the popularity contest, Jensen Huang would have won. But if you read this article, and I'll put the link in the description, this is a really great, thoughtful background of who Dr. Lisa Su is and what is she doing with AMD. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see an uptick in potential stock increase just because a lot of people really want to invest in what a great leader is doing just as they are with Jensen. And this is Lisa out there. And I see her becoming more and more visible, getting into the limelight and putting herself out there because she is the face against Jensen with NVIDIA.